Hello, we're going to uh, learn how to use power method to solve for in-game values and vectors. How to use power method to solve for in-game values and vectors. So let's say we are given this matrix, and we are told to find the in-game values and vectors of the highest modulus. We have 5, minus 2, minus 2, like in this very matrix. First thing you do is that you write the same matrix and you assume initial, initial y values. So the initial y values we are assuming is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So that we can multiply out to get values for our iterations. So write the same value, this same matrix, exactly the way it is. Then write a single column matrix with values 1, 1, 1. Then multiply out normally, as you have to do for our determinants. So we have 5 times 1, 5, 2 times 1, 2, oh, this is minus 2, so make sure you have minus 2, good, minus 2 times 1, minus 2, then minus 2 times 1, minus 2, so you solve out, this is 5 minus 1 to give you 1, then you do for the second row, minus 3 times 1, minus 3, 5 times 1, 5. 0 times 0, 0. So we have minus 3 plus 5, which will give us uh, plus 2. Now, we have 23 for the last row. 23 times 1, 23. Minus 19 times 1, minus 19. 6 times 1, 6. So you solve out 23 minus 19 plus 6, 10. So this is the value that you have. Now, look at this value that you have. Which one is the biggest number? The biggest number is 10. So factor 10 out. So when you factor 10 out, you will be having, you divide through by 10. When you divide through by 10, you have 1 over 10. This one, 2 over 10. This time around, this is plus 2 over 10. And this one, 10 over 10 will give you 1. So any value that you have here, that's what you have. You prepare a table like this, where you have the number of iterations. So initial value of y is 1, 1, 1. So you put 1, 1, 1. Also, initial value of z0 is also the same as initial value of y, also 1, 1, 1. Initial value of kp is also 1. So you fill in 1, 1, 1 plus 1 here. Then, in this, for this first iteration that you've done now, for the values of y, you put the numbers that you have here. You have 1, 2, 10. So you have 1, 2, 10. Then the values that you have inside here, that's what you put as your z for the first iteration. So you have 1 over 10, 2 over 10, 1. 1 over 10, 2 over 10, 1. Then the value here, that's what you put here, 10. So you repeat the iteration again. By this time around, you use values that you have here as your new y. So you record them. The values that you have here will not be your new y. You have 1, 2, 10. Then for the zp, you record these values that you have here. 1 over 10, 2 over 10, and 1. Then you put your 10. So now you do a new one by putting this value that you have here as your current uh, value. So now to solve out again, you do the same thing. 5 times 1 over 10. 5 times 1 over 10. Plus, minus this times this, which will give us plus 2 times 2. 4 over 10. Plus... This time this will give you minus 2. So any value it gives you, you write it as n. Do the same thing for this one. You write the value as b. Do the same thing, write the value as c. Once you have these values, you check the biggest for the biggest number. The biggest, let's assume that it's, it is b. Then you divide through by that b so that you have something like this. So once you have this, you're going to have your new y to be all the values that you get here, you write it. Your new Z, P, with all the values that you get here, you write it. 
and the biggest value you write it outside. You do another iteration using these values in place of this for the next one. So every value that you get, you write. You continue writing until you find convergence in the column of ZP. How do you find convergence in the column of ZP? When the value that you have here is equal to the value of the next iteration, that's when you stop. So at that point of convergence, find your value of KP. Any value of KP is your what? Engine values. Then the three values of your ZP becomes your what? Engine vectors. So that's how you solve. Very, very importantly, you have to be careful as your substitution. So you have to substitute very carefully. So once you solve for this, you fill in the values. The first initial assumption is always 111 one, one down. For the second one, you put for your y values, you put anything you get from here. For zp, anything you get inside here. For kp, the biggest value that you factored out. So once you're done, you use this and put here, solve out again. Anything you get here, put it as your y. Anything you get here, put it at your ZP. Anything you factor out, put it at your KP. So you continue until the two values that you get here, the value of one iteration and the next one become the same. Then you know you have conversion, convergence. At that point, pick the value of the KP as the engine value and the three values that you have for ZP as the engine vector. So that's how you use the power method to solve for engine values and vector. That's the summary. The subsequent classes will be doing actual problems to learn this. Thank you.